So yesterday, Chance and I, we got 2,500 pounds of gravel drug underneath that house. And we got it placed within that French drain line inside of our fabric. We got our fabric uh, folded down back over top of our gravel and our actual uh, perforated pipe with the fabric around it as well. We backfilled over the top of those fabric flaps. And now I'm getting ready to go in there now and install uh, our sump pump. I'm going to get everything kind of pre-fitted out here outside and getting ready to take it underneath the cross space so it'll be easier for me to work with. Uh, let me turn the camera in here. I'll tell you exactly which pump this is. Uh, I always like to use these Utilitech Pro brand sump pumps. This is the three-quarter horsepower unit. Pumps out 88 gallons per minute. Has a five-year limited warranty. Uh, all these years I've been installing these units, I've had one of these go bad. And it was because of the freaking check, uh, check valve. It had stopped functioning. It wasn't letting the water flow out. It burnt the pump up. Just replaced that unit actually two weeks ago in Saudi Daisy for a friend of mine named Angie. So anyways, guys, I'm going to be installing this Util Utilitech Pro here. And uh, I'll give you guys an update here in just a bit. Also with this pump, it comes with a two-inch threaded end to a one-and-a-half-inch uh, slip in. But I always like to buy the two inch threaded in to a full two inch slip so I can run it full two inch all the way over to wherever I've got to discharge the water to which on this house we don't have any other option available other than the drain line itself which is a big fat four inch so it'll take all that water just fine I don't think this pump's even going to be functioning a whole awful lot it's going to just have to be a super heavy rain like we had uh last week and a couple weeks before that and anyway be back later and I'm not sure that it even really needs it, but after I run this up and over, I'm not going to put a check valve on this. Some of you might be arguing that because I've, everybody that I've ever talked to in plumbing, they always say, oh, you got to have a check valve so it don't come running back on you. Guys, if, it, if any of this discharge runs back, it's going to go right into the basin anyway, right? You know how deep that basin is, but, um, and also I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and build a P trap. Uh, on the discharge so after it goes up and over i'm getting ready to build this and glue all this together now it'll go up over the water will go down into this i'll make it come up and make a p-trap and then it'll go down into the drain line and that'll that'll help stop any uh worries so anyways I'll go ahead and glue all this p-trap up okay finished p-trap's gonna look just like that so take a good look I'll show it to you installed once I get it all finished up. I'm going to have to go to Lowe's and get one more freaking elbow. I was one elbow short. Wouldn't you know it? Ain't that always the case? Here we go. So here we are. Just finished plumbing in this sump pump. I'll flip the camera around, try to give you guys a couple shots of some of the detail work that we've done here and give you guys a couple of bits of information on what took place. Here we go. So down inside the basin now is our Utilitech Pro sump pump. Over there to the right you will see the float valve. Once the water goes into this basin and fills up and hits that float valve, it will turn, <clears throat> it will engage the sump pump itself, which is what we're getting ready to test now with this water hose. David's going out there now to turn everything on. It's a brand new hose, so good night. I can't even maybe it'll stay right there um, so anyway and then that water will then be pumped up over and notice how I've got that going downhill over into that P trap going right out the drain line which goes right out the home just uh, about six feet from where I've got it going in that is a four inch drain line I had to do a four inch T to a two inch T and um, I will turn the camera back on in just a second once David gets the water going. All right, guys, got the water flowing in here now, testing everything out. I've kind of wiped the basin down a little bit. It just kicked on right then. That's already about the fourth time I've seen it discharge. I'll sit here and let you guys see real quick one time. So imagine it was coming a super heavy rain. Water was coming into this French drain line just like it was when we started this job a week ago when we had standing water along the front side of this house. As soon as it hits that check valve, check it out. Float valve, I mean. Excuse me. <laughs> there it goes.
once again right out the drain line. Now, check this out. Pouring it right directly into the gravel. Let me put it down a little bit so it don't splash up into my sled. Notice the water coming in through the basin there. Let's see if I can get it to stay right here for a second. I'll get you guys a shot. Show you. You see water coming in around the drain line there. Just kicked on. See water coming in through the bottom of the basin. All from within the drain. So there you go guys. Sorry, I you a better shot. Just kind of letting you guys see how everything works. So, French drains and crawl spaces guys. All they do is lead the water to the basin area which contains the pump. Which then allows everything to be discharged from the home. Once the water level ignites the float valve. Um, right here guys gotta thank my father-in-law William Austin um, this outlet is going straight to a GFI breaker within the home's main breaker panel so you know if this thing was to ever have a power surge or anything the homeowner can then trip the breaker back from their main panel they do not have to come back under this crawl space because that is a task within itself let me just go ahead and tell you So it looks like we've got the French drain to sump pump basin installed complete. It just kicked on again. And uh, guys, we've got to get to running some poly. So what we got to do next is run a brand new six mil ground barrier down over this entire crawl space floor before we get started running any of our 20 mil fiberglass reinforced poly. Stay with us guys. I'll talk to you soon.